It's May 10th, 2022, and it's 85 degrees here in Chicago. I'm gonna vlog today. Okay, I just got off the train. I'm a bit hungry, so I'm gonna head to Jewel Osco to get a quick bite to eat before I go to our next destination. That is a Chicago boot. Got my groceries, and I'm currently looking for a place to sit. I also wanted to sit someplace interesting, so you see this barbed wire up here? On the other side of that barbed wire are a bunch of retired CTA train cars, and it's kind of like this train graveyard, so I'm going to stick my phone up there and see if you can get a look. Okay, so I found a bit of shade. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this sand and uh, this water and these flaming hot um, Doritos, which I guess are, I didn't know they had flaming hot Cool Ranch, so we're gonna check them out. It's still pretty cold. Man, it feels great to just just chill. I've been walking and it's like 85, 90 degrees out. And I was getting pretty tired. Got to put some mayo on here. Oh yeah. Too bad I couldn't really see the CTA train graveyard that well, but it's whatever. All right, this is the Flaming Hot Cool Ranch Doritos. This kind of tastes like a normal Cool Ranch Dorito. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm feeling a little tingle. I mean, I don't get what the deal is. I'm wolfing these down, no problem. Whatever. Man, this lettuce is crunchy. It's not wilted or anything. I'm still gonna add some, uh, some Cool Ranch Dorito chips and I'll make this a top tier sando. Oh yeah. You want the last bite? Oh, you don't? You want, you want, you want me to have it? All right. All right, it's time to get back on the train. Dexter is next. So I'm on my way to the Baha'i House of Worship. It's this crazy looking building and it's part of a religion that has only eight churches in the world. So pretty crazy to go to. Um, yeah, you can see that train yard. We're currently on the Purple Line, and this is our downtown. And we are going all the way to here, to Linden. Man, I don't usually have like a full L car to myself, so I can just kind of do whatever I want. Um, here, let's poke it back. Um, yeah, this is what an L car looks like. Um, ooh, this is pretty cool, actually. You're able to, you know, get a better experience, I guess, of what riding in an L-car is like. Um, Linden is kind of like the Northwestern line. It doesn't really run to the loop all the time. It's just only uh, during business hours, or like business rush hours, really. And yeah, we always have these maps uh, up top here. Um, we just, you know, just showing you where you are. Um, and the really nice ones have lights, so you can see how it's lighting up for the stop. So that's pretty cool, that's not in all the trains. And also, you're able to tell what series of train it is, like how new it is. If you just glance right here, it tells you. So this is the 5000 series. So I think they're up to 9000 now, so this is a pretty old train.
So this almost feels like kind of like a tourist attraction. I'm not gonna lie, like not an actual temple. I, I guess there's a, a somewhat feeling of reverence, but uh, yeah, here we are, Baha'i Temple. Then I decided to hit up this thrift store that had been on my list for two years. There were a ton of eclectic items. This was for sure the most crazy thrift shop I'd ever been in. Oh yeah, and I almost got this ring, but it ended up being a little too big for me. And then there was this iMac from 2003. I could really appreciate the aesthetic of the base, um, but yeah, it made me really appreciate my Mac Mini. Saw a porn magazine for the first time in my life. And then there were all these creepy phones from the 50s. So I decided today was a good day for a bike ride, so I rented a Divi, and uh, yeah, we're gonna bike alongside the lake here. So I'm deciding to go through Chicago's alleys. Um, it's gonna be a good time, they're pretty wide and nobody's on them. We're just gonna thread the speed bump here. Whoop. One of Chicago's many cute brick alleys. I bought some extremely overpriced sushi and headed home. And that's a wrap guys. Hopefully tomorrow or another day I'll do a vlog again, but uh, as for this one, it is all done.